Hi friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My stomach is growling so bad. Why you clicked on this video, it is so you get to know me a little bit better. I wrote down 50 random facts about me. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get right into it. The number one thing I need you all to know about me. I don't just love her. I am obsessed with her. Ariana Grande is God. <laughs> oh my God, I can't even tell you. I went to her concert last year for my birthday. That was my birthday present. <laughs> I have the ticket framed in my room and uh, may or may not have just purchased the No Tears Left to Cry sweatshirt. I did. I am not just a fan, I am a super fan. She is everything, she is beauty, she is great, she is Miss United States in my eyes. She is the most amazing singer of our generation and I adore her. So fact number two, I am 19 years old. My birthday is in March, March 8th to be exact, Pisces babies. Woo. <laughs> fact number three, I am five, eight and a half. I haven't been to the doctor in a while, so I don't know exactly how tall I am, but just know I'm pretty tall for a girl. Fact number four, I have an older sister and a younger brother. Fact number five, I love coffee. Starbies is my place. <laughs> number six, I love ice cream so much. I do eat ice cream every day. I'm not going to lie to you. I could be eating so well all day and then I'll pop over my freezer and there's some ice cream. Well, it can't just be there and I can't not eat it, so. I do. Seven. My favorite food on this planet besides ice cream is chicken. I cannot tell you how much I love chicken. All kinds of chicken. It doesn't matter if it's nuggets. It doesn't matter if it's fried, grilled. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Fact number eight. I cannot snap. Like there's a sound coming out. It just is not like people can do it so hard and just like I can't. I can't. Fact number nine. My whole family can roll their R's. But guess who can't? No, I'm not going to try it for you because it just, it just doesn't, it doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound remotely close to even what I'm trying to do. So kind of hard because you want to impersonate Cardi B and be like, oh, Kurt, but it just, it doesn't come out the same way. It's just, it's really difficult. Number 10, the little like new Snapchat stories. I watch the Taste Made one every single day. I make it a point to sit down and watch Taste Made every single day. Going with the food theme, fact number 11, I didn't even notice this, my roommate did. She said to me, you know, I've noticed something about you. And I was like, what is it? She said, whenever you're in a not so great mood, you watch food documentaries and like shows about food. You're honestly right. Whenever I'm sad, whenever I'm like angry, whenever I'm like worked up about something anxious, food, food shows. Number 12. I love to sing. Number 13, I have so many things about food on here. What is wrong with me? So I'm gonna get dragged for this, but I cannot stand flavored chips. But I will not touch Doritos, barbecue chips, salt and vinegar chips, sour cream and onion, like Cheetos. No, 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 no. Just give me kettle cook, give me plain Pringles, not that cheesy stuff and pizza. Who likes pizza flavored? I'm sorry, I just can't get on board with that. I just, number 14, my favorite YouTubers. I bet you guys think that I sit around and watch beauty videos all day. You was wrong, sis. I, I watch Shane Dawson every day, like it's nobody's business. I love Shane Dawson with my entire being. And I love his whole squad. Morgan, Garrett, I love you. You make me laugh so hard. Drew cracks me up. Rylan cracks me up. The whole squad is just, what is this? I just, I love them. Now don't get me wrong. I do love a couple beauty YouTubers. I love, Nikki's tutorials is just, she just seems so genuine. She seems like she loves what she does and pours everything she has into it. I also love Tina Halata, Rachel Cantu. Honestly, who doesn't love Jenna Marbles and Julian? Ace Family, Mikey, Glam and Gore, love her channel to death. Fact number 15, this one's actually kind of cool. I actually was on the red carpet once. <laughs> it was for the Princess and the Frog movie premiere. I was like 10 or 11 years old and one of my really, really good friends, her mom entered a contest online that said, oh, if you win this, you could bring a friend to Hollywood to go to the Princess and the Frog movie premiere. And she ended up winning. It was my friend and her mom and me and my mom. And we flew out to California for, I think like four days 
and I walked the red carpet. I was living. Number 16. <laughs> I love Harry Potter so much. I have read all the books at least three times. I think the movies are so well done and I think the whole thing is just so creative. I want to go to Harry Potter World and Universal more than I can express to you. I want to go there so bad. Which brings me to my next fact, number 17. I love Disney World. I love everything about it. I think it is a blast. Doesn't matter how old you are. It truly is the happiest place on earth. They do not lie to you. Except, girl, you gotta lower those prices. You are gonna make me go bankrupt next time I go. I should not have to go broke for eating Mickey waffles, okay? <laughs> Number 18. I love giving people surprises. I love surprising people and I love getting surprised. This year, my family surprised me in Alabama. Like my whole, almost my whole mom's side of the family came down and they all surprised me. That I had no idea was gonna happen, so. Number 19, I would lose my head if it were not attached to my body. I lose things constantly. It wasn't even in a week, it was like two days. I lost my headphones and I lost my room key. Girl, are you okay? I just really need to get better at life. <laughs> and number 20, I am very superstitious. Number 21, I used to have a goldfish named Justin Bieber. <laughs> yes, I cannot make this up and he lived for four years. Number 22, <laughs> I was a very rambunctious child. I may have danced on a table once in kindergarten and my gym teacher told my mom that whenever she'd explain the rules to the game, I'd get a group of people and be like, no, this is how we're gonna play it and like recruit a bunch of people to play the game a different way than what my teacher said. And it wasn't because I didn't like my teacher. It was just because, you know, I wanted to play my own game. <laughs> I don't like your game. <laughs> Number 23, I hate math with a passion. I honestly think that I only passed my trig class sophomore year because my teacher felt bad for me. I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> Number 24, I don't know exactly when this started. I don't know if it's like a nervous tick or whatever, but I have the worst habit. I bite, I don't bite my nails. I bite like my fingers. You see that? My mom bought this like bitter tasting stuff that it's like, it was like nail polish, but it tasted awful. Like you put it on your nails so when you go to bite them, you get this awful taste in your mouth. I tried that, didn't work, did it anyway. Number 25, I cannot express to you how much I hate mornings. It doesn't matter if I have something to look forward to the next day, I still don't wanna get up. I hate mornings, I hate them so much and I wish it was illegal to wake up before 10 o'clock, <laughs> maybe even 11. Number 26, I am a clean person, but I'm not very organized. Like I'm messy, but I'm not dirty. There's a difference, learn it. <laughs> number 27, I have a quite unusually large number of pet peeves. Let's just spit a few out there. Number one, being interrupted and being talked over. Number two, having to repeat myself numerous times, maybe even one time. Number three, when people take my things without asking me, I'm not going to bite you ask me I'll probably say yes number four when people refuse to fess up to something they did and apologize for it but instead they blame other things that's just four I could go on for a while a lot of things annoy me number 28 my favorite animals are sea turtles and dolphins I love both of them so much number 29 I am the most accident prone person I know. Multiple scars from multiple different things. That's a burn from a curling iron. That is also a burn from a curling iron. That, my friends, is a burn. Third degree, mind you. From accidentally pouring hot glue on myself. I claim that it looks like an elephant, but everyone looks at it and they're like, where? And one time I fell off a 12 foot wall, but I'll get to that story later trust me. Number 30, I listen to a very wide variety of music. I will listen to anything ranging from alternative to R&B to rap to maybe even a little country sometimes. I don't know. I'm a very versatile person when it comes to music. Number 31, I love to travel. It is on my bucket list actually to visit every state at least once. There are just so many beautiful places to go and I want to see 
all of it. <laughs> and I've grown up traveling. My family lives pretty spaced out around the country and I've always loved, you know, going to visit them. And my parents have taken us out of the country multiple times, even as, you know, little kids because they wanted to introduce us to like new cultures and new things. And I will forever be grateful for that. Number 32, I was a dancer for most of my life and I was a cheerleader for all four years of high school. It took me a while to find, like I have honestly tried every sport you can think of at least once. <laughs> I ended up trying softball, field hockey, basketball. And I was gonna play field hockey when I got to middle school. My art teacher at the time, who was an amazing, amazing lady, said she was going to be the new cheerleading coach. And she was like, can you please try out? Like maybe you'll like it, you never know. So I did and from there it was history. And I love cheerleading. Cheerleading a lot it is a sport. Don't come for me. Competitive cheerleading is a sport, I will cut you. <laughs> Number 33, I love scary movies. So if anyone has good scary movie recommendations, let a girl know. I've been wanting to watch a good one for a long while now, but cannot really find one. Number 34, I'm a pretty like spontaneous person. I'm more spontaneous than a planner, I guess I should say. I like, you know, just waking up one day and be like, okay, like what are we doing today? Just doing, crazy things out of the blue. That's more me than like sitting down and planning. 35. This is probably one of my favorite facts on this list. Huge, huge believer in ghosts, spirits, supernatural things and beings. Aliens? I'm not so sure about, but I've had experiences with ghosty things and all that kind of stuff. And like I'm open to it to an extent. I probably won't go looking for ghosty experiences, but if they happen to me, just because you never know what you can open yourself up to. Like Ouija boards, I've done them before, but from now on, they're big now. <laughs> Number 36, my favorite TV shows. I am not great at watching shows with deep storylines. <laughs> my mom watches like The Handmaid's Tale and Game of Thrones and she's like, oh my gosh, like you should watch this, you should watch that. And I'm like, I'm gonna go watch Friends for the 16th time in a row. Friends is my top favorite show of all time. I love Bob's Burgers. That show is top notch. Took me a while to get into The Office, but I, I think it's hysterical. Steve Carell is, I want him to be my best friend. The one show that I have watched that had like a pretty, like you had to follow and you had to watch every episode to know what was going on, uh, Vampire Diaries. And it also, I don't usually like shows that like you have to call in your vote or whatever, but I love me some Dancing with the Stars. Number 37, this is really, really strange. I cannot fall asleep in cars unless I'm like exhausted. But when I'm on a plane, I fall asleep almost instantly. It doesn't matter what time of the day it is, if I'm on a plane, I will fall asleep. Number 38, I'm obsessed with pictures. I'm obsessed with taking pictures. I'm obsessed with looking at pictures. When I moved into my new room, my dad asked me kind of like what I wanted it to look like. And I said that I wanted it to be painted red. And he said that would kind of make the room a little too dark. The room originally was like a, a light beige color. He said what we'll do is we'll leave this wall and this wall beige and then the front wall and the back wall will paint red. So I moved in, the paint looked great and I was like, hmm, it's missing something. Like my room looked very, very blank. So I covered my entire, like every spot that is beige, just about covered with a magazine cover or covered with pictures that I printed out. Number 39, I love to read, but I rarely, make the time to. I'm reading before I fall right now. I'm on a whopping page 26. I'm getting really far. <laughs> Number 40. I have a dog and a cat. My dog's name is Marbles and my cat's name is Colby. You're not gonna believe this. So I might have to go find my cat and show you. She has thumbs. Yes, you heard that correctly. My cat has thumbs. I love you. You don't love me, but I love you. Look at her thumbs. You are so cute. Come here, let's see what you look like. My hair is messed up. It's always messed up. So I guess we were at number 41. My biggest fears, I have like a top three. My number one fear is being alone in the dark, like pitch darkness all by myself. That is a deadly fear of mine. Second fear, clowns. Clowns can leave. Okay, I don't know if this was happening anywhere else. I don't know if this was like a nationwide thing. Last year, the year before in my hometown, people would dress up like clowns and just like stand in random places like on the side of roads at night. That's a big no for me. <laughs> and my third fear is like the deep, deep ocean. Like I'm talking the ocean that no one has been in yet. Isn't that crazy? How there are parts of the ocean that no one has been in yet and like discovered? There could be sea monsters down there. Number 42, my first job, like my first real 
job was in a candy shop. Number 43, my favorite movies are 80s movies. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Breakfast Club. Number 44, this is so embarrassing. My biggest dream was to fly. I was in like kindergarten or first grade and I don't know if anyone else's teachers did this at any other schools, but my teacher had this leprechaun and she would like make him do things to our classroom like what, when we were at lunch or recess or something like we come back in and all our chairs would be flipped over and we'd all have like one of those gold coins, gold chocolate coins on our desks, like just fun little stuff like that. We could write down wishes to this leprechaun, but I didn't know that they had to be like feasible wishes, like wishes that could actually come true. Like I wish for a new pack of crayons, but no, me, I wished to fly. I asked a paper leprechaun. My wish is to fly. Can I please have that? Who did I think I was? And I used to have this, it was, I don't know if anyone else remembers these. It was like a blow up sleeping bag, but it had like a theme on it. Mine was princess themed. It was like a big blow up thing. I don't know. I had a loft bed and that is like one of the beds where I had a ladder to get up to where I slept. So I positioned that at the bottom of my bed, went to sleep, woke up, looked down at the mattress, got ready, and I jumped off my bed, which was easily like seven feet high, thinking that I could fly because I asked my paper leprechaun, can I fly please? Six year old me knew how to have fun. I would hang out with her. Fact number 45, I sleep so strangely. It doesn't matter if it's sweltering hot in the room. I have to sleep with everything covered like up to my neck. I'll be like this, like huddled in a blanket, the blanket under like here. And I have to have my arms and shoulders covered, my legs covered, my feet covered, like everything has to be covered. I have to be like in a burrito. 46. This one makes me sad. <laughs> I am the nicest person, or at least I perceive myself to be the nicest person. And people, I feel, shy away from talking to me or wanting to like have a conversation with me because I have RBF. My friends made like a joke out of it in school. They would say that they never knew what kind of day I was having until they said hi to me. Cause sometimes like I just have my, that's just my face. They'd be like, oh, what's wrong? That's just my face. I'm sorry that I look mean. Like, I'm sorry, I can't help it. Number 47. Well, it's not as bad anymore because I'm not as like active in a sport anymore. I have very bad, or I used to have very bad back problems. Cheerleading, it was tough. Like with all the tumbling, all the stunting, like I guess it really started my freshman year. I'm not gonna go like all into cheer talk. I eventually acquired a stress fracture in my tailbone. There's also something wrong with my L4 and L5. And if I walk around too much or stand for too long, I remember it got really, really bad. I just, if I stood for too long, my legs would go all tingly and numb. And that sounds terrible. Like I should have done something about it, but I didn't because you know, my team needed me. That sounds so stupid. Don't ever do that. If you are in a lot of pain in your sport, no matter what it may be, Go to the doctor, sit out, it's worth it, I promise. Number 48, I love to drive. In high school, I was always the one to be like, okay, I'll drive, just cause like, I didn't mind, like I, I wanted to drive. Number 49, I would not ride a roller coaster until I was about like 12 or 13. They scared the life out of me. My dad and my sister and my mom would always ride them and they'd be like, come on, just try it just one time. And I was scared that if I rode one, I wouldn't come back. <laughs> and the last fact, this one has like a really sweet meaning behind it, which is why I saved it for last because it is probably one of my favorite things about me. I have a crazy amount of Wonder Woman memorabilia. Earlier, when I was talking about myself being accident prone, this is where the story about me falling off a 12 foot wall comes in. <laughs> I was at my cousin's house in Georgia. We were all playing manhunt outside and my sister and I decided to hide in these bushes on top of their 12-foot garden wall. And at the bottom it wasn't nice and like grassy. No, it was like not big rocks but like rocks about this big and some bricks were down there. So my cousin stops counting and he comes up the garden wall and I knew he was gonna catch me or try to at least and I wasn't thinking. I was just thinking about getting away because I didn't want to be it. <laughs> so instead of running around him on the other side of the wall, I ran off of it. So my dad and my uncle were inside and my mom and my aunt, because I think it was around Easter. And I think they were, they were out of the grocery store getting like food and decorations and stuff to put in our Easter baskets and stuff like that. So they were not home. And they thought, like I easily could have fallen and 
broken my neck, broken a different bone. I don't even want to think about what could have happened, but I just got the wind knocked out of me and all I got away with was a little scratch here and a scratch on my hip. My mom and my aunt got home. My mom, you know, kept checking me for a concussion and stuff like that. My aunt said that I was Wonder Woman and my aunt passed away a little over nine years ago. So ever since then, I've gotten a lot of just Wonder Woman stuff. It's like a little, uh, not a joke, just like an inside thing between my family and I. So I have countless things. For my birthday, my mom actually sent me a Wonder Woman crown. <laughs> I have a metal Wonder Woman picture that I hang on my wall. I have a Wonder Woman little balloon. I have pajamas. So I thought, why not put it in my 50 Facts About Me video because that is very important thing to me so yeah there you guys go i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you know me a little bit better but yeah if you are new to this channel i would love to have you here subscribe down below hit my bell for post notifications whenever i post you'll get an update give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot i'm gonna punch my camera by accident that's not gonna be good i'm gonna go take some day quill thank you all very 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 much for watching and i will see you in the next one catch you later bye wow i actually did an outro <laughs>